Hey, hey, it's Dana, the Gypsy Psychic. Are you ready for another message? Come on in and get comfortable. Put your feet up, get your blanket, a pillow, something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke. Throw it up on the big screen if you want to. Put in the earbuds, kick back and relax because we're going to unpack some psychic messages. Now let's jump in and see what these cards have to say today. Hey Aries, we're going to throw some cards for you guys. Let's throw some cards for Aries, all right? It's been a good long minute. I'm going to try to do more signs on my YouTube channel than the two that I primarily focus on. So let's get started. Let's do this. Let's throw some cards for Aries and see what the heck is happening here. All right, Aries, this is what's going on. Uh, there's a couple of things you need to know about me before we jump in here is I have a propensity to be inappropriate. I will probably swear. Um, I may be irreverent and I may or may not smoke my vape on camera. So if any of that offends you, now is your time to escape. Okay. All right, here we go. So Aries, you open up this reading with the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, okay? Unmet expectations. Why is there unmet expectations? Well, because something can't be worked on or worked out. And you, Page of Cups, have tried to work this out, or you're, you're thinking about working this out. You're either doing it or about to do it. You are about to or have given some kind of invitation to try to work something out, but yet again have been faced with unmet expectations from the same situation, the tower implosion. This situation has imploded on you before and it is about to implode on you again. Whatever this is, six of wands in reverse, you're not going to be able to get success from it. Why? Because it's an it's a personal battle for you. You keep going back to this same thing thinking that you're going to get something different. And what you have to do to overcome this battle is to understand that this is not where you need to be. Death in reverse. Understanding this brings you to a place of a in big internal transformation, a huge, gigantic internal transformation. Huge. It's about internal purging, getting rid of a belief system with that Hierophant in reverse on the bottom of the deck, getting rid of a belief system that is holding you back from reaching your potential. The Nine of Cups. This big, huge, gigantic personal transformation on the inside is going to lead you to exactly what it is that you're trying to create in this situation over here. But because it's not in your best and highest good, because you are creating it continuously from your limited human understanding, right? I want what I want what I want. So I'm going to do whatever it is that I got to do to get it. Okay, that always leads to a tower. Making any kind of decision out of your humanness always leads you to a tower. Okay, death in reverse is saying we need to have a soul, a transformation inside of you so we can release the potential of your soul's journey and get you to stop continuously living in your human understanding of things okay your soul was here way before the meat suit it'll be here way after the meat suit gives out this is a life lesson here aries that the universe is trying to get you to hook on to okay prioritization and balancing out this issue over here three of wands prepares you for the desires of your soul to be manifested Two of Cups in some kind of significant relationship, but it's not this one that you keep trying to resurrect or going back to and expecting something to be different. It's not that one. It's a new one. See, the universe wants the desires of your soul to be fulfilled because when you are at peace, you are a much better vehicle to do what it is that your whole soul came here to do in the first place. Mm-hmm prioritize this, balance it out, and it will prepare you to receive 
what it is that you truly want in your soul and not what it is you think you want in your mind. Six of Pentacles in reverse. Greed in your sense of well-being. Uh-huh. It is. It's greed in your sense of well-being. Why are you greedy in your sense of well-being? Well, because the flesh says, I want what I want what I want. And I'm going to do what it is that I need to get it. You are not listening in any way whatsoever to a soul guidance in your life. You are allowing your flesh mentality to lead and dictate the steps of your life. And that's a problem. Judgment in reverse says it's a bad decision. This card is also about self-doubt. You keep going back and trying to rebuild this tower over and over and over again out of your own self-doubt. Because your self-doubt is saying, this is my only chance. This is my only thing. This is the only thing that I want. It's the only thing. It's the only thing. It's the only thing. I can't do better. I can't get better. I can't, I maybe I don't want to put in the effort to get or do or be any better. And that's a bad decision. Bad decision. Six of Swords. You need to leave this mental baggage behind. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Because you will continuously get unmet expectations from this same situation over and over and over again. Princess of Pentacles in reverse in the center of your reading. This is a lack of progress, a lack of planning. You cannot manifest the life that you want to manifest for yourself in this situation. Five of Wands in reverse talks about avoiding responsibility. The longer you avoid the responsibility of accepting and understanding that you cannot and will not ever get what it is that you want from this situation... The longer you avoid that responsibility, the longer your whole everything is blocked. You see, the universe cannot intervene in your free will. This chariot wants to take you to the next phase of your life, but it's blocked. Why is it blocked? Well, because it takes self-control, willpower, and determination to get the chariot going. And you're not doing any of that. You're just succumbing over and over and over again to what it is you think your life should be and not giving any kind of regard at all to the journey of your soul. Queen of Wands. Mm-hmm. Queen of Wands. Spirit, tell me about this Queen of Wands right here a little bit. Yep, yep, yep. So this is the object of your desire. It's fire energy. This is the object of your desire. This is the root of this tower right here. This is the unmet expectations. The object of your desire is your unmet expectations. It is what you cannot work out. Okay? Knight of Cups. And you keep trying, and you keep trying, and you keep trying, and you keep trying, but it's not ever going to work out because it's a misaligned relationship. Prince of Pentacles. Slow, steady, stable. Uh, maybe you want the stability back that you had in this situation. With Well, with this tower right here, you never really had any kind of stability or any kind of success. But you keep going back to it like a rubber ball, bouncing back, bouncing back, bouncing back. Strength, right? You need to come to terms with yourself. Strength is about having the courage to overcome a personal weakness. What is your personal weakness in this situation, Aries? It's your flesh mentality. Mm -hmm. It's your flesh mentality. Overcome it. The Four of Swords come to terms with the grief, the sorrow, and the pain that you harbor in your mind about not ever having this again. Pick up the Fourth Sword, bring stability to your mindset, and press forward so the universe can unveil to you the path of happiness, success, and vitality in your life. See very, very clearly, Aries, Four of Cups. You think you got this nailed down. You think you know how to go about handling this, but you don't. The fourth cup is being offered to you by the hand of God. And you're like, no thanks, I got this. No thanks, I got this. Take the fourth cup. See, look, the Seven of Wands. You keep pushing it off. You keep defending yourself against any kind of spiritual understanding Whoever I'm talking to in this particular reading is very, very flesh-based. 
very flesh-based. You see, your human experience is, is an infinite drop in the bucket compared to the grand scheme of things. Your soul was here long before you took your first breath in this meat suit, and your soul will be here long after the meat suit finally gives out. The, the struggle, the battle of this, this human life that we live is to conquer our ego. Death to the ego is the ultimate objective for ascension of the soul. And if you don't care about your soul's journey in this lifetime, you will continue to hit wall after wall after wall because the human mind is so ignorant of the grand scheme of things that it will consistently and always lead you in the direction of the tower. Everything that you try to put together in your humanness will eventually at some point implode on you because it is an empty journey. The human journey is an empty journey. The soul journey is the only journey that counts. Growing your soul. Queen of Wands again right? The object of your desire, justice in, in reverse. You're not taking accountability for yourself, your life, your path, or your purpose. You, ten of swords in reverse, wanting to renew and regenerate with this person is you perpetrating the same injustice in your life over and over and over again. Ten of cups, to the five of cups because all you want back is that same kind of of foundation that you had with this person somehow your self-doubt keeps you from seeing that you will be just fine without this person hence judgment you will be just fine without this person as a matter of fact your desire to go round and round and round and round with this situation is you shooting yourself in the foot, Aries, over and over and over again. Make a conscious, cognitive decision to draw a line in the sand and say this all stops here today. Three of Wands. Have some foresight for the future. Prepare for the future. Stop doing this so the universe can lead you, guide you, and show you what your soul's journey is. King of Cups, but I love her, but I love him, but I love them, but I love them, but I love them. Ten of Cups, it was so warm and fuzzy and great. I love them. Knight of Pentacles, stuck in this mentality. What's the problem? The Empress in reverse. Well, your person is incapable of creating with you. Mm-hmm. Your person is incapable of creating with you because they got their own issues. They have their own issues that they need to deal with, and they too are walking in a flesh mentality. The Empress in reverse being a spiritual perspective is you being out of control of yourself, out of control of yourself, out of control of your life. You see, the Empress in the upright is the third most important lesson of all of life. Because she comes from lesson one and two. Lesson one, where your mind goes, your reality becomes, period. Whether you like it or not, whether it's in your best interest or not, where your mind goes, your reality becomes. Lesson two is your intuition, the high priestess. Your intuition is your soul speaking to your consciousness, trying to lead you to your best and highest good. Lesson three is the Empress because she continuously combines those two things. She points her mind in the direction of her gut intuition and because she manifests according to her intuition, she is infallible. She cannot fail because her intuition leads her over and over and over and over and over again to the direction of her best and highest good. Mm -hmm. In the reverse... You are not doing this. You are out of control of yourself. To the seven of swords in reverse. Let go of a futile mentality. Stop struggling with this self-betrayal over and over and over again. And let go of a futile mentality. Nine of wands and fight the good fight. 
fight the good fight. Fight the spiritual fight. Don't keep being resilient and persistent, just absolutely insisting on the object of your desire. Let it go. King of Pentacles in reverse. Overbearing, domineering, controlling energy. Princess of Swords in reverse. All talk, no action. Undelivered promises. I'm going to clarify this. Hold on. Tell me what this King of Pentacles... Uh-huh. Look. Princess of Swords in reverse. Okay. So, a, a resilience, persistence, you. Resilient and persistent. Overbearing, controlling, trying to do it your way. All talk, no action, undelivered promises. All talk, no action, undelivered promises. It ain't ever going to work for you, Aries. This is a dysfunctional relationship, and it will never, ever work for you. Justice. See the truth of the situation. Sun in reverse, because you're not seeing things clearly. See the truth of a situation. Be accountable for your life and your journey and stop wasting your time here. Two of Wands in reverse. Stop wasting your future here. Five of Pentacles. Leave it alone. Leave it in the cold. Princess of Wands in reverse. Stop wanting it. Mm -hmm. The Devil in reverse. Release your limiting beliefs. See, the devil in the upright is an attachment that is a restriction to your growth. The devil represents your flesh nature just as much as the high priestess represents your soul nature. What have I been preaching about here? The, whoever this is for is someone who is just vested in their own way of thinking and their flesh mentality. Mm -hmm. And it's an attachment that is a restriction to your growth. Detach from that toxic vein in your life. Release your limiting beliefs. What are your limiting beliefs? Well, I can't do any better. This is what I want. This is what I've invested years and years and years of my life into. And damn it, I'm going to make it work. No, Aries. Take a step back. Do some inner purging. Have a personal transformation and step into your soul's understanding of what your life should be instead of your flesh understanding of what your life should be. King of Wands. And make a drop dead, just like judgment, drop dead serious decision to make, to, to be responsible for your mind and your actions to the lovers in reverse and accept and understand that this is not a divinely orchestrated relationship into your life. This is a flesh orchestrated relationship into your life. Let it go. Give it up. It's not in your best interest. Five of Swords in reverse on the bottom of the deck. Let go of this white knuckle mentality, this win at all costs white knuckle mentality. Let go of it. Eight of Wands, go in a different direction. Change. The King of Wands, you, Aries. Yes, this can be Leo, but we're talking Aries here. You, Aries, okay? The pursuit of achievement and success, pointing your desires in the direction to know and understand your soul journey instead of your flesh journey. Queen of Swords, drop dead serious decisions. Seeing this whole thing clearly. Wheel in reverse because it's a blockage. The universe wants to divinely orchestrate the path of your life. The universe wants to take you to the desires of your soul. But as long as you think you know better than, than source energy, then have at it. They cannot intervene in your free will and they will be in suspended animation until you decide to come back over this way. When you do, it will spin in the upright and divinely orchestrate the steps of your path. But until you do, they are not participating in this. They want nothing to do with it because it's not in your best and highest good. Three of Swords in reverse. Come to terms. Come to terms with the grief, the sorrow, and the pain that you feel in your mind. Four of Wands in reverse because you're not getting what it is that you want. To the Hierophant in reverse. Re Last card in this spread, bottom of the deck. The Hierophant in reverse. Reevaluate your freaking belief system. Reevaluate your spiritual understanding, your soul understanding. Take a step back and see how it is you are truly sailing the ship of your life. 
because the four cornerstones that you are standing upon right now in your belief system are not serving your soul path. They're serving your human path, but they are not serving your soul path. And it is time to take inventory of your belief system. Cut loose of ties, commitments, and obligations to this situation. Stop trying to make it happen. Accept it as a misaligned relationship. Point your understanding towards your soul's path and the universe will divinely orchestrate the steps of your life. Hope that helps someone. Namaste. You can follow me on YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok at The Gypsy Psychic. And you can schedule your own personal psychic reading at thepathofpurpose.org.